Which are the best YouTube channels for retro gamers and retro collectors? Let's take a look at my selection and let me know if I miss any or if you disagree or if you've got other ideas. First up is a controversial one and it's not controversial because of the YouTuber, it's controversial because of what people say about the YouTuber and that's the 8-bit guy. Now, I don't agree with his walking into Subway wearing a gun, and I don't think he's got particularly bad intentions. Another reason why he's controversial is because of things that he has done to old computers in his videos. Take the place of the switch. See if it blows up. Yeah, that's not good. Again, I can't really speak about that. I'm no expert. He obviously knows more than I do. I'm going to give him a pass. He's still one of my favourite YouTubers. And he was the first retro YouTuber I think I came across. And it was his videos about programming, about the history of old computers, and especially his own computer games that really drew me in. Next is Retro Recipes and Perifractic. I love this channel because of the humour, it's informative, it's entertaining, the music is excellent and he's a really creative musician. I love the production value behind it, the whole cast, especially Puppy Fractic. And whistles. Even down to how he does his product placement. PCB way, excuse me, way. You can tell he goes to a lot of effort to put these videos together over a wide variety of topics. I think the best known series though is probably going to be the Lego Commodore 64. And next up is Robin from Canada. Hi there, this is Robin from 8-Bit Show and Tell. He does incredibly detailed videos about programming, about the technical side of retro computers. Unlike retro recipes, you don't see his face very often. One of my favourite segments that Robin does is his book club, and as a book collector myself, it's definitely something I can get behind. Next up is Adrian's Digital Basement. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement. Adrian is the king of the refurb, and he's also a Canadian, but living in the United States. Speaking of refurbs, Jan Beta is excellent at refurbs and tends to cover computers that aren't really covered by the North American community. He's got Amstrad, he's got Spectrum, and really goes into detail with the electronic side of retro. Nostalgia Nerd has some of my favourite documentaries about the history behind different computers and what makes them good and what makes them not so good. The Atari Falcon, one of the greatest computers ever made. But so few people have heard of it, it's almost like Atari were trying to keep it a secret. This Next we have another Brit, RMC, The Cave. Of a certain vintage. Are you calling me old? <laughs> The true test of an influencer is if they actually influence you and thing you see in the cave today is with thanks to the patrons and pcbway.com who because of the video about the light gun I ended up ordering one by monsterjoysticks.com and oneclickprint.com so I guess he really is an influencer and more he's got some fantastic refurb videos where he goes from trash to treasure and each one of those is an absolute delight now for Amiga fans, we have the inaccurately named 10 minute Amiga Retrocast. Hi, I'm Doug from Dynamic Computing and welcome to episode 89 of 10 minute Amiga Retrocast. <laughs> I joke, but Doug definitely knows what he's talking about when it comes to Amigas. 
Hello and welcome to Noel's Retro Lab. Today we're going to take a stock Sinclair QL and look at all sorts of different upgrades to take it to the next level. Noel has another channel that's got excellent detail about the technical side of retro and also covers machines that you won't find elsewhere. And finally, there's Old School Coder. And as the name suggests, it's all about programming. Hello, John here again. And here we are, episode two. 